Hi, I'm John from Rhino Ag. Today we're going to assemble a Rhino X Series roller mower. These mowers are the perfect solution for maintaining sod farms, parks, athletic fields, and polo grounds. Today we'll uncrate the unit, assemble the wings, the axles, and the drive lines. This video can be used as a reference for all pull type X Series mowers as the setup procedure is largely identical. But make sure to refer to the owner's manual for additional details, including equipment specifications. Pay particular attention to the weight and overall dimensions to ensure the correct lifting devices are used. Rhino Ag estimates approximately eight hours to complete the assembly process. So we've got work to do. Let's get started. We've started the uncrating process by removing the shipping strap from the tires. We're going to take the tires down, bring the crane over, attach the crane to the tongue, and remove it as well. We've attached the crane to the tongue. We're going to remove the three attaching bolts and take the tongue out of its shipping configuration. We're going to set it aside for now. We're going to assemble it later. We've attached the crane to the center deck. We've put our clevises in the lifting eyes on the front, and we've got a strap going to the rear axle. What you've got to remember is when you're lifting this with the rear axle weight as it is, it makes an uneven lift. So we've got to make sure that we lift it correctly. The next thing we're going to do is in four positions on each end of the center deck is attaching bolts. We're going to remove those as well once we have the pressure off of it. Now that the center deck is safely on the ground, we've reattached the lifting device to the rear axle. We've suspended the rear axle and installed that tire. We're getting ready to install this tire. With the tire on the axle spindle, we want to make sure that the valve stem is out and we'll use the tapered side of the lug nut towards the rim. Now that we have the tires installed, we've reattached the crane to the front of the axle. We've taken some pressure off this rear axle so we can attach the hydraulic cylinders. The hydraulic cylinders then have a transport lock mechanism as well. We've got that installed so it has free operation. When you do that, we want to make sure that when we tighten it down, we don't just pinch it together. We want to make sure we just have enough thread engagement to engage the locking mechanism. We also want to make sure that the grease circ is up. Now we've got to do the other side. We've installed the rear warning light brackets to the rear axle. We use a four hex bolt assemblies that came in the hardware bag that was supplied with the mower. Now we're ready to remove the left wing from the shipping stand. We have the crane attached at each corner so this deck will lift up evenly. We want to make sure we have pressure on it to, so we can remove the hardware. The hinge attaching bolts need to be removed. We'll take these out, we'll set them aside. When we push the wing up to the center deck, we'll reinstall these bolts the way we took them out. Now we're ready to install this right wing. We want to make sure the blades are timed correctly. So before we mount this wing to the center deck, we're going to talk blade alignment. I'll remove this black shield. What we're looking for is the paint marks that are on the yokes. 
In this instance, they're white paint marks, sometimes they're blue. I want to make sure these, white, these marks are oriented to where I can slide this shaft together. Now, to do that with ease, I remove this yoke from the gearbox. We'll slide that yoke straight off, attach the smaller splines, and then push it back on. Be careful not to rotate any of the gearboxes while you're doing that. Take the clamp nut loose, push, push that bolt out, remove this yoke. Now you'll notice the paint marks. Yoke slide together. I haven't rotated anything. Before, I gotta remember, gotta put this shield back on. Slide this together. Before I tighten everything down, I'm gonna push this wing together, mount the hinges, reattach all the hardware, and reinstall that shield. We've got the drive line timed, we've got the paint marks lined up, the blades are timed, the shields are back in place. We're ready to push the wing together and mount the wing to the center deck. You can see I got my lineup bar installed in the top hole. That way I can move the hinge around as needed. We're gonna install the hardware from the wing to the center deck. We're gonna reinstall that hardware the way we removed it out of the bracket when we uh, took them apart earlier. We grab the forklift and we put the uh, tongue on the forks. We've brought it up to the unit. I'm going to remove the hardware for the tongue mounting. We're going to use the forklift to bring the tongue up to the unit and reinstall the hardware. Okay, we've got the tongue attached to the main frame. We use the locking hardware that was already installed. Once again, with this locking hardware, all we have to do is make sure that the lock nut is engaged on the threads of the bolt. We don't wanna pinch these brackets together and cause tight movement. We've assembled the right side hydraulic cylinder and lock up. Same goes, we wanna make sure the grease circ is up and that the transport lock rotates freely. You can see on this side, ready to do it. Remove the hardware. Sometimes these hydraulic cylinders need to be lined up. I used a pry bar to line this hydraulic cylinder up. We'll see how close I got. Didn't do too bad that time.
Make sure this transport lock rotates freely and we're good to go on the tongue. We've got the tongue installed and we're ready to install the main drive line. I've removed the black uh, gearbox shield here, slid it up onto the drive shaft. I've removed the clamp bolts on the back of the drive shaft. Now we're ready to install this drive shaft onto the gearbox. Now that we've got the drive line installed, I wanted to mention about the protection system that makes this drive shaft unique to this cutter. We utilize a shear bolt protective system, so the shear bolt is located here on the flange. This drive shaft also has what's called an overrunning clutch. When the PTO is cut off on the tractor, the mower will coast to a stop. That way the mower does not transfer that stopping torque back into the tractor, so it'll coast to a stop with this style of clutch. I'm going to reinstall the black plastic shield and we're going to be good to go on the drive shaft. Previously, we cut the zip tie for the two wing fold hydraulic cylinders and we gently let them down onto the wings. Now we've attached a tractor to the wing fold hydraulic circuit and we've used the tractor hydraulics to bring the rams back in line. We remove the attaching bolt and nut, pin and bushing. We're ready to install. The bushing goes on the front side. We've got the hydraulic ram aligned. Install the pin and the retaining nut and bolt. Now that we've got the hydraulic cylinders attached, the hydraulics are attached to the tractor and we folded up one wing and I've got the transport lock installed in the right wing. Now we're gonna fold up the left wing and I'm gonna install the transport lock in it. Okay, now we're gonna raise the center deck and we'll install the transport locks on the four hydraulic cylinders. Now that we've got the transport locks installed, we relieve the pressure from the hydraulics to let the cylinders sit down on the locks. That way the cylinders aren't suspending the mower during transport, it's down on the locks and it takes the pressure off that hydraulic cylinder. The baffle bolts. These bolts are the socket headed bolts that are included in the hardware bag attached to the shipping stand. They will go in place for the baffle at the outside of the wing deck, the inside of the wing deck, and the outside of the center deck on both sides of the machine. The last step of the setup process for the X-Series mower is to install the SMV. We're going to use the bracket provided and install it to the back of the axle. This completes the setup of this Rhino X-Series roller mower. Please check the maintenance and pre-delivery video prior to putting this unit into use. Reference the owner's manual or contact Rhino Ag for any further information. Thanks for watching.